Congressman Jerry Carl is joining us to talk more about that and vaccine rollout in Alabama. Thank you so much for being here. There are still issues with the vaccine rollout in the state. You were trying to get additional doses of the vaccine for everyone in Alabama. How's that going? Uh, well, it, you know, it's a supply and demand issue and, and we've got to have a plan put together. We reached out to the Walmart folks. Uh, they, they, they explained their numbers to us and how they work. And then we reached out to the governor's office. <clears throat> the governor's office, you know, pretty much let us know that, that they would be more than glad to work with us if uh, the area that we wanted to go to had a plan put together. So we've been working with some of the elected officials over there about how to put plans together. South Alabama has certainly been a voice in, in helping us put that together. I, I think the, the the pattern that they have put, that they've uh, developed, especially there at the Civic Center, just worked out phenomenal. So uh, we're a little slow in some places, uh, but we're trying our best. It's it's all based on supply right now. We've certainly got the demand, but not, the, not enough supply. Absolutely. Congressman, we've talked to you uh, previously about Baldwin County in particular. Can you give us an update on that area? Well, Baldwin County right now, we, we uh, understand Walmart. Uh, they haven't contacted our office, but we found out through through media that <clears throat> they're they're actually dispensing some in Robertsdale now. And also, uh, 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 CVS Drugs, we think, is also offering them in Baldwin County. I would encourage anybody that wants to check and see what's available in Baldwin County, go to alcovidvaccine.com. And, and it will give you the, the locations where there's vaccine actually available. And keep in mind that th these vaccines are controlled by the state health department. Mm -hmm. uh, they will determine how many and where they go. And their, their determination is based on a plan of action. So no. just because the supply, the, the need is there, doesn't mean they're gonna just send it in. Right. Uh, they're, they're requesting a plan of action first. Right, of course. I want to bring up that COVID relief bill again. People, a lot of people have been waiting for these $1,400 stimulus payments, but I want to talk about the minimum wage part of it. We said that's not going to be part of what is seen today. What are your thoughts on the on the minimum wage? You know, the minimum wage, if you look at the true minimum wage that we have today, <clears throat> there's a very small percentage of people that actually get paid that. They're usually young people. They're usually jobs in between jobs. And, and they usually don't stay on minimum wage uh, for an average of about six months, five to six months. So the minimum wage is really a mute point. It's a place to start. And, and I would like to, to I, I don't like this $15. I think it's going to price a lot of things out of the market. Uh, you're going to go to McDonald's, for example, in the near future, and there won't be uh, young folks there working. There'll be machines there working. I think it's going to, it's going to uh, force a lot, especially the restaurant business, uh, in, in, into going into uh, mechanical uh, devices. And, and, and those are a lot of the jobs, especially uh, uh, college kids. I mean, that's, those are good, simple, easy jobs that they can get to match the hours that they need. And right now it's at seven and a quarter. I, nobody will argue that's not enough, but it, you know, a minimum wage was never designed to, to make a living off of it. It was a place to start. And, and grow your family and grow your future from them. I started my job at minimum wage. I think it was down to three dollar range. I, I'd have to go back and look, but it, it's it's just supposed to be a starting spot. And to start at fifteen dollars an hour in New York, it may be an issue. In in Mobile, uh, uh, in in your your coverage area, fifteen dollars an hour is, is is a lot of money per hour because our cost of living is nothing compared to to New York or Seattle or or, or California for that matter. I remember I was 18. I started at 5.15 an hour. Very, very interesting. Look where, look where you're at today. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Congressman Carl. Very interesting My points. My pleasure. Y'all have a great weekend. Enjoy. You too.